He's Houston's self-styled air conditioning guru, and the title suits him well. It's a title you have to earn, and it's a title you have to work at to continue to be called the AC guru. You have to solve problems no one else can solve. The Bayou City's hot and humid climate often makes Central City Air's founder, David Debian, the most in-demand person around town. And people come to him for his expertise and for help, which is just a joy for David. He could talk about it all day long. He does all night long. Talks about it in his sleep. He talks about it on vacation. Thirty years ago, David Debian began his career working for commercial businesses that needed his expertise. Never satisfied with the tendency to settle for less than the best, in 1986, he created Central City Air, targeting residential customers who wanted real solutions to their comfort problems. Air conditioning design, installation, and repair continue to be David's passionate mission. Anybody can do average work, but to do it to the highest level possible, it takes passion. Passion for the customer, passion for the uh, way you do things, and passion for your employees to learn to do it right. David isn't a lot of hot air when it comes to being outspoken. He's an activist committed to improving the industry. He lectures all over the United States, writes about his designs, and answers questions from listeners of KTRH's Home Improvement Hotline and those who write him on the Central City Air website. All this so you can receive an unbiased analysis. I'm willing to tell anybody what I think. Often telling it like it is and not necessarily what you want to hear. Okay, I agree. Did you find any leaks in the boxes that were going at the ceiling level? Well, this is the most air-conditioned city in the world. We have the highest utility consumption and the highest electric cost. So doing it right is actually a payback in the long run. Since the inception of the company, David has redesigned numerous air conditioning systems. In 1992, he began using special air balancing dampers for improved air balance. In 1997, he created a specialized line of cooling coils. In 2000, it was the year of the stainless steel overflow pans. David was also the first to incorporate fresh air return in residential air conditioning design, creating a healthier environment in the home. And now it's required by law in many states, not in Texas yet. We put it in every new system so that the house has fresh air to dilute the volatile organic compounds that normal products that are in the home um, emit. Throughout his work, David spreads the message that the air conditioning system is more than just a machine that adjusts the temperature of the house. It is a life support breathing apparatus. Because if it doesn't provide you the quality air to breathe, it will provide you the unhealthy air to make you sick. And we see a lot of people getting sick in their homes today, mold, mildew. Speaking of life support, David has had his own close calls in the last couple of years. Diabetes-related health problems led to the amputation of both of his legs. I've had some serious health problems near death several times and had, had my both legs amputated, but it's never slowed me down mentally. Dedicated David even worked from his hospital bed, giving on-the-spot diagnoses to technical crews on problem calls. And even with me being in the hospital, I communicated with all my employees and helped them diagnose problems over the phone. Just within the last six months, he's been in the hospital six times. Sometimes for a long stay, and sometimes they think he'd give up. But just like his work, David never gives up, never gives in, always finds a way, always manages to see what needs to be seen and move forward. Fortunately, special technicians who learn to troubleshoot like David are on hand when he's busy or unavailable. David's a perfectionist at heart, and he likes to see us get in there and do it just as, just as well as if he was out there himself. As Houston's foremost air conditioning authority, David Debian is not one to sweat it. He not only has figured out the importance of the business of keeping cool, but he's also an authority on living with a positive attitude.